is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i want to talk about some news that broke this morning uh according to production weekly netflix is actually gearing up to potentially produce a third entry in deep blue the deep blue sea series i guess you can call it now deep blue sea 3 uh yes for those of you who are not aware there was a deep blue sea 2 that came out last year uh, i just kind of want to talk about it because the original Deep Blue Sea from 1999, which starred Samuel Jackson, LL Cool J, and a few other names. Uh, that movie is actually one of my favorite shark films. Uh, it's that movie and Jaws. Jaws, of course, being the better film. But Deep Blue Sea was kind of always my favorite shark movie. But Deep Blue Sea kind of stuck with me only because of the fact that it's just so fun to watch. It's not something that is something to take too serious because really at the end of the day, the movie isn't all that great it's just a it's just one of those sharp movies that's actually surprisingly decent so like for instance there's a lot of plot holes in that film there's a lot of things that don't add up as far as like the sharks because the sharks in the original deep blue sea are mako sharks and me growing up with the film i've done research on a lot of the things in it and you just sit down and once you start to become knowledgeable on the way sharks behave and the types of things that sharks do and all this other stuff and the whole premise that they have with the film while it's fun and it's entertaining and it's well acted and some of the special effects are amazing the entire narrative seems pointless considering how the sharks are presented and you question some of the actions that the shark make because they're supposed to be hyper intelligent sharks so if they're so hyper intelligent why are they performing some of the tasks they're doing why are they doing this why did they waste time even flooding the facility because the whole intent of the sharks their their whole game was to escape the facility and get out into the ocean escape these fences so why waste any time trying to even flood the facility when you could just break out and just go out into the ocean so those are just like one of the many things wrong with that film i give it like a 5.5 out of 10 just for a simple fact that it's well acted decently acted from for the most part the effects are amazing and entertaining to watch uh it's well directed the soundtrack in it and when i say soundtrack i mean the score that deepest bluest shark's fin song that uh cool did i like i liked it at the time and i still enjoyed listening to it but that's like one of the most cringiest lines i've ever heard for a rap song but netflix apparently is producing a third film for this franchise uh deep blue c2 was a big disappointment not only because it was like a frame for frame i felt like it was not a frame for frame but like basically it was the original film but just with a lower budget uh less logic and just bad acting and bad effects it was just terrible so if you're gonna make a movie with something if you're gonna have a very uh not to be taken seriously premise that's flawed in several ways you can at least have good acting good effects good direction a good sound a good score to back it up all this stuff to at least get the viewer engaged with the ridiculousness that's occurring on screen and that's what the original deep blue sea was able to do deep blue sea 2 was not because it was apparent it would you could tell just from the start of it how how low budget it was you could tell from the previews and it just stuff like that just takes a viewer out of everything when you can clearly tell that the movie was cheaply made you have no interest in it and then on top of that the acting wasn't that good um, I watched Deep Blue Sea 2 finally f all the way through a few months ago and it's 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 just really bad not that the first film is anything spectacular like I just made mention of it has several flaws but those flaws do not stand out because of the fact of how it's handled when it where it matters the acting the direction the score all the other things that go along with the film and filmmaking it was all well done uh, Deep Blue Sea 2 is just trash across the entire board, and I give that movie like a 3 out of 10, let alone probably even a 2. Uh, I mean, I'm giving it a 3 to be generous, but if Netflix is producing a third film, I'm actually kind of interested because Netflix does produce high-budget films. The original Deep Blue Sea, I don't think a lot of people even know this, but that movie was almost close to having a $100 million budget. That movie had around like 80 to 85 million in its budget. So if Netflix is producing a third film, I'm confident that they will give a third entry a decent sequel or a decent budget. Now, there's no information as far as what the plot would be, but I would like to see something different. 
uh, not something similar to what happened with this lab and stuff. Take us, take us somewhere else. I mean, I guess you could use that premise again, but take a spin on it. There's, there was even reports of a Deep Blue Sea two when Deep Blue Sea two was not even a thing. They were, they were thinking about doing it, and they wanted to do something with the sharks being weaponized. That sounds ridiculous, but again, if done right, it's enough. You can make you can take a ridiculous premise and make it entertaining and fun to watch. You can it's possible with any movie. Any movie that has a ridiculous premise, it can still be a, a well-made movie that's effective in every element but its logical story because of the other elements that go into filmmaking. That's where Deep Blue Sea 2 failed. It failed in its story, it failed in its acting, it failed in every department of filmmaking, in my opinion. Uh, but if Deep Blue Sea 3 is coming from Netflix, I'm very confident and I want to see what Netflix would do. I'm interested to see if they would think about bringing back maybe Samuel L. Jackson. What type of the, where would the where would the narrative go? Would this be another standalone sequel? What's happening? Uh, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Deep Blue Sea? Uh, let me know down in the comment section. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.